Bonjour à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. I'm Cindy from Frenchesy.com and in today's video I want to teach you about sneezing in France or more like what you should say if someone sneezes. If you'd like to learn French with a native French teacher, I recommend italki. Check out the discount they're offering in the description. So, let's get back to our lesson. If someone sneezes, sorry. If someone sneezes in France, what would you say? Now in England or in English speaking countries, most of the time people say bless you if they hear someone sneeze. But what do people say in France? What you need to say when someone sneezes in France depends to some extent on how well you know the person. Because French people, when they're speaking, they like to use different language according to whether they're speaking to someone they know well, like a friend or family member, and people that they don't know so well. So when the person sneezes for the first time, if you know them, very well, so if it's your, I don't know, your cousin or if it's your friend, you say à tes souhaits, à tes souhaits. Repeat, à tes souhaits. But we all know that when we start sneezing, most of the time another one is going to come and probably another one and another one and another one, right? So if that same person who you know very well, sneezes for a second time, then instead of saying à tes souhaits, again, you say à tes amours, à tes amours. Basically, when you say à tes souhaits, it means you're hoping that their wishes come true. And when you say à tes amours, the second time they sneeze, then it means that you're wishing their love life well. On the other hand, if you don't know the person who sneezes very well, so for example, if they're just an acquaintance, you would say à vos souhaits, basically using vous instead of tu, à vos souhaits. And if they sneeze again, you just wouldn't say anything at all. Because how can you wish uh, for a stranger's love life well, like, it would be a little bit weird, wouldn't it? Because you don't even know if they have someone or if they want to have someone or anything, right? You don't know them. So, bless you is à tes souhaits for someone you know well, à vos souhaits for someone you don't know well. And if the person you know well sneezes a second time, then you say à tes amours, à tes amours. And I don't really know if this is um, something that every French person says, but I know my mother always said that. When you sneeze for the third time, then she would always say, qu'il dure toujours, qu'il dure toujours. May they last forever. So basically, the first time the person sneezes, you say, I hope your wishes come true. The second time is... I wish you well in your love life. And the third time is kind of like, I hope your relationship lasts forever. <laughs> yeah. And of course, if you don't know the person, just say, à vos souhaits, the first time, and then say nothing at all. Now, a little bit of uh, vocabulary. To sneeze in French is éternuer. Éternuer. J'arrête pas d'éternuer. I can't stop sneezing. And the noise that you're making when you're sneezing is achoum. So in English it's achou or something like that. <laughs> in French it's achoum. And in fact, one of the seven dwarfs is called achoum. Yes. You could not have lived your life without knowing this vital piece of information, could you? <laughs> so sneezy in French is called atum. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you found it interesting. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it. I'll see you next time. Bye. Au revoir.